Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing your January 3 to the 4. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Before we start, if you guys see a snippet on uh, January, that's career, finances, and love. That's separate from the whole love reading, which I know was posted December. So this is different. These are for the people who are in subscription and also who would want to see career and finances together with love. You see the basically the snippet, totally different. Two kinds of reading, different. Okay, so but this is uh, for the Aquarian. Let's begin. Let's see. Three to the four. There we go. Aquas. The star card do stay, do indulge, as you. If you're connecting with a Capricorn, um, I just want to show it. Um, I'm not going to stop until I show it. I'm going to hide. Oh, hi there. So, a star card over there. 111, when I said that, I see, I think, I have a timer, I think. Um, can be, I'm um, feeling on top of the world. Put a ring on it. I see here someone can be got, getting engaged. If it's not, you could just be buying a jewelry by yourself, okay? <laughs> Now, I see here with the star card, acknowledgement also, getting what you deserve, um, putting being on a pedestal in people's eyes. You're just a glimmering hope for people also. If you're helping other people, oh, before we start also, um, if um, since I'm starting, um, uh, there was an Aquarian uh, fan that I met. I, this was during the Christmas time. Um, I'll, do a, a, I'll do a read for you in the next post if you're watching, but comment there. Um, He's a bro, uh, an Aquarian bro. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll make a special message, but I'm in the middle of the read right now. Already. So anyhow, you're getting an acknowledgement over there um, with a star card, your wishes being fulfilled. Um, a lot of hope um, with regards to love is being shown here at the same time. The person that you're dealing with also can be looking at you as your prized possession. King of Swords, you are staying on top of of your of things right now, so that's good. Okay, your goals, you're putting in goals and you're getting accomplished one thing after another. Um, let's see here. You could be connecting with another air sign, or you could be connecting with someone as far from you. Knave of Swords, age gap difference. A message um, from the other person is saying it's like, um, I really, really, because. See, it's hard for this person to accept that you're like the one for them with the knave of swords because if you're the king and they feel more than you do, they can express it, they really can, regardless of what's going on. Okay, let me see here uh, the death card it can be Scorpio energy. I feel someone wants victory in the connection here at all costs. If you do the death card over here, it's just like triumph. But the triumph comes with, of course, we call it the phoenix rising or something like that. But it, it's more of a transformation. Something is changing between the two of you right now, whoever this person is. Let me see. I have the name of swords. Seven of wands. Person is restrictive, I told you. They can't... They will be very much into you. But they will not express it. They will be all over you, but they will not express it. They will talk to you, but they will not express how much really you mean to them. Because they're well guarded with the Seven of Wands. They don't talk to nobody. They have no time and day for no one else but you. However, they can even still express how much you know you mean to them. But for them, it's just you. Because you look at only the stars, like just one. All right? You don't go into a constellation. You go to one star. All right? It's, see, let me see what this. The transformation that happened on this side, you have seven of so seven of ones, you have seven of swords on this end. Okay, someone here on this side is always about egoistic with regards to it's like, well, I know what is a relationship. I know how to handle this. I know, I know, I know. And the other person's like, I don't know much, you know. But this person I was learning from the other person. There is something that's going on between the two of you, understanding that how it can work regardless of uh, the two of you are totally different. You'd be like total opposing sign. One is a fix, one is mutable, you know. 
because you have here the Seven of Swords here, the Death card. What ended is that this person could have probably is a liar, manipulative, cheater, whatever you want to view the Seven of Swords, a thief, you know, they always, they always don't, uh, how to say this, they always have to, um, to take advantage of other people. Not that they're bad, it's just how they are. <laughs> It's just how, they, uh, how this person is. They're probably also lying on how they feel to the other person. They just never told the truth also. Other person, since the other person is not telling the truth, other person lies also. Now, come back. This person really likes this person. They're not saying. This person can be in denial because of how the other person is treating them. So basically an eye for an eye between these two, instead of instead of saying it, this person, since you don't say it, then I'm not going to say it. But this person is going already about to say it with the death card in the Seven of Swords. They're about to admit because Seven of Swords is also self-sabotage. Okay? So, um, before I'm going to continue this reading, link down there in the description box for things that you need. I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful um, end of the day. End of the day. <laughs> Um, have a wonderful January 3 and 4. I'll see you guys again. Bye.